we first came up with Ellie and Joel, we had this idea in our heads of who they would be, but we didn't necessarily know the voice. It took us a while to find our Joel, but for Ellie, I think Ashley was the second or third candidate to walk in, and right away we knew. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Why are you so scared all of a sudden? Because, because I'm a coward, okay? So just get your shit, let's get out of here. <sighs> Damn it. Not like her, you know. What? You think I'm gonna end up like your daughter? The way she delivered the lines, the way she just embodied that character is like, that's Ellie, there's no question about it. I saw the character artwork and I related to her a lot. I mean, she's kind of a tomboy and she's kind of tough. And I mean, obviously I'm not 14 and I think that's the main difference between the two of us. I read the scenes and I was like, I need to play this part. You want to be my hero? Forget the whole bit about saving my life. Buy me a stack of these bad boys instead. Where'd you get that? Back at Bill's. I mean, all this stuff was just lying around. And then once we had her, we said, okay, well, we're gonna do another round. And so we're gonna have Ashley this time in the casting sessions. The chemistry of these two characters was imperative to get right. Troy was a really interesting casting for Joel because when you see Troy, he doesn't look like Joel at all. You know, he's so handsome and he had like, you know, the frosty hair and totally looked like Final Fantasy. And so... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't know. He's like this tall, pretty... Um, it didn't seem right. I walked into the room fully aware that I was the youngest person that they were seeing for this role. And it was a line that was in the audition side that says that Joel has few moral lines left to cross. And so that became the anchor point to the character. But then as soon as he spoke, and he had the grit in his voice. Warm, yet kind of dangerous. And his movement is just like, you bought into it. Why are you so scared all of a sudden? Because I'm a big coward, okay? Now pack up your shit and let's go. God damn it. I'm not hurting you now. What? You think I'm gonna end up like your daughter? treading on some very thin ice right now. It was Ellie and Joel. After he read, it was just like, that was, that was it. I've done some video games in the past, but to be handed the mantle of a franchise like this was a pretty big honor. Is she alive? She's alive. She's David's newest pet. Ah! Where? In the town, she's in the town. Hey, you mark it on the map. It better be the same exact spot your buddy points to. Neil pulled me aside one day, and he said, I have some ideas. And as you're well aware, uh, Neil is a little twisted. He came up with this character, and, you know, I just jumped at it. It was such a departure from everything I've done here for Naughty Dog, uh, to say the least. Name's David. Here's my friend James. We're from a larger group. Women, children. We're all very, very hungry. To be able to put on a voice that, you know, hopefully a lot of people won't know, uh, won't notice that it's even me. Because we didn't want it to be Drake. Drake eating people, that's... That's a whole nother game. How did you put it? Tiny pieces. See you tomorrow, Ellie. You know, certain voices that I can do wouldn't fit the David's artwork, and but he showed me the art, and I, I said maybe it's something like this where everything's, you know, it's very quiet, and just you know he's not really sure, and the voice can break a little. And he just looked and goes, yeah, that's it. So it, it I, I'd love to tell you we hashed it over and we talked. No, it was, it, it just I looked at the picture and I tried something. He said, yeah. A few weeks back, I. Uh, Sent a group of men out a nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. And turns out that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a crazy man. And <laughs> get this, he, he was with a little girl. You see? Everything happens for a reason. Clear. Ashley 
she brought humor to it. She just has some really great comedic timing. The way she reacts to the things around the world with a little bit of sarcasm, that teen kind of like trying to get a rise out of you. Now watch your step as you're going out, because it's going to be a little... <laughs> It just brought a certain levity to the story that the story needed. We didn't even realize it needed it until she started doing some of that stuff. Oh, I'm sure your friend will be missing this tonight. Mm -hmm. It's light on the reading, but it's got some interesting photos. Now, now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! How how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. Now, hold just... your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh. Why are these all stuck together? Um. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Bye-bye, dude. Throughout the course of shooting over these past couple of years, Ellie and I have kind of morphed into each other, which I know sounds so cheesy. Neil always asks, he's like, well, what would you do in this situation? I think the most important thing that Ashley brought is a sense of capability to Ellie's character that wasn't there in the beginning. The very first